Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to this week's Vendor Reset, the greatest on the interweb. Righto champions, it's weekly Vendor Reset time, no server maintenance again this week, so you can keep farming, raiding, and doing your thing in the DZ. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers, and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, you know what to do, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. And please everyone engage with this video, a like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is going to help the channel and our amazing community grow. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials including Twitch, Discord, Facebook, The Works. All the links for that stuff is in the description. Righto champions, before the vendors, let's see what's cracking in Div 2 this week. Season 9 wraps up in two weeks time. So from here on out there's not going to be any more leagues or global events, but Street Activation Apparel event will continue for one more week. Some of these cosmetics are pretty cool, so if you haven't completed it, log in and get it done, because these apparel events are a one-off and are never to be repeated. Also phase 2 of the Season 10 PTS is coming September 2nd. This is for PC only though. If you are partaking in the PTS, please make sure you give as much detailed feedback as you can because your input could actually impact what we get in the next update. And remember to stay up to date with everything Division related, follow me everywhere, the links are in the description. So that's what's happening in Div 2 this week. Righto then, the vendors have now reset and I've done my usual whip around. If you're not at Expertise 20 yet, do check all the named items and the weapons and simply buy them and donate them. I still think that this is the fastest and easiest method to level up your proficiency and expertise levels. Now this week at the vendors it's slightly better than last week, but it's still not amazing. I did manage to find a few items, but do keep in mind that they might not be everyone's cup of tea because we all know what the vendors are like. Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. As always, I'm your no fuss vendor reset guy that's not gonna fuck around and bullshit you or waste your time, so let's jump in and check it all out so you can get back to gaming. Kicking things off this week, your countdown vendor has the Carnage, the Point Man, and the Safety Distance. All of these items are pretty average, but it's easy to grab one if you need it. Inside the White House we go, and we've got the Test Subject, which is decent enough rolls, and the talent is perfectly in sync. This is a nice one for skill builds or hybrid skill builds. At your clan vendor this week, we've got the named Badger Chest, the Zero Fs. Now status effects are everywhere at the moment. I do like this piece for that hazard protection roll. I'm going to be playing around with a few different variations of hazard builds this week, so grab this one so you can play along at home. Ducking on over to the theatre settlement, this week we've got a set of golem knees. Great armour and great crit hit chance with a little bit of regen. I'm liking the look of these ones for players that want to make a regen build but don't have Emperor's Guard knee pads. If that sounds like you, pick these up. Heading down to DZ South, we have the apartment. Pretty trashy rolls, but I did see a few players this week asking around about how to get it because the DZ targeted loot is still a bit fucked. So if you are one of those players, simply come to DZ South and buy one. And the last item is at DZ East and it's the Night Watcher Mask. Again, I'm liking this one for that hazard protection roll, so yeah, I'll be grabbing this one too. And it's only 153 DZ credits, pretty bloody cheap. And like it or not champions, those are the tasty pickle ticklers for this week. On screen now is today's targeted loot, pause it, check it and farm it. Make sure you do hang around and check out the full overview up next and hey, if you spot a tasty buy for the week that I might have missed, mention it in the comments below to help everyone out. And like always, show your content creators your support like, share, comment, and subscribe. All this kind of stuff really does help support myself and the channel. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one, and I will catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.